お前はもう死んでいる。ディディマーク is who I am。ディディマーク is who you all, the art nerd slash the viewers, know me as. But in reality, in the real world, my name is David and I have no friends. Like, literally. And that's not a bad thing. I actually choose to be alone. For me, during this moment in my life, I only hang out with my girlfriend and my cat. And I'm genuinely happy having no friends, at least for now. For some reason, me not having any friends, that's hard for some of you to believe. But it's true, like, really. People hear me speak, and some say I sound confident and extroverted, so much so that they find it hard to believe that I, Diddy Mark, am actually an introvert. Matter of fact, I'm super introverted. If you ask me what my idea of fun or a good Saturday night would be, it wouldn't be at the club or at a party or the mall or, you know, hanging out with friends. You know, and, and this might sound bad as well, but it wouldn't be hanging out with family. For me, the perfect Saturday night or my idea of fun is hunched over my desk, pen in hand, with my tablet staring back at me and a monitor playing a YouTube video or podcast directly opposite me. And in a room bathed with RGB lights. And to top it all off, a hot cup of coffee sitting on my desk next to my tablet. This, this is my idea of fun. This is my idea of a good Saturday night. Matter of fact, this is what I hope heaven is like. Literally sitting, blissfully letting my creativity take the reins as I put pen to paper, or, you know, tablet in this case, and draw while all my troubles. Stresses, responsibilities, and anxieties fade away. The feeling I get from being in that moment is so, so indescribable at times. It's a moment of seemingly infinite bliss for me. It's something I can only compare to the concept of being in the zone from the Pixar movie Soul. By the way, go watch that movie, I love it. But anyway, why do I tell you all these things? Well, besides me kind of wanting you guys, the viewers, my audience, to take a peek and learn who I really, really am. This entire intro, and I apologize if it all sounds way too emotional for a Diddy Mark video, but it's, it's to tell you and to express to you all that I love drawing. You know, I love art. And I assume that a good percent of you, if you're watching this video and if you're subscribed to me, most likely love drawing too. And if that's the case, then I implore you to watch Blue Period. Blue Period is a Japanese manga written and illustrated by Tsubasa Yamaguchi, serialized in Kodansha Seinen Magazine Monthly. And if you have the mind of a dumb preteen like me, upon first hearing the title of the manga, you might think the story involves what happens to females of the Navi tribe once a month. <laughs> okay, okay, that was a terrible, terrible joke, I know, I'm sorry. But then again, would it be a Diddy Mark video without a bad joke at the start? Yeah, I don't think so. Moving on. Blue Period, simply put, is about the artist's journey from start to finish, following the perspective of someone who recently discovers their love and calling for the arts. That person in this case being the protagonist of Blue Period, Yatora. Now, now, the, the story, like, bruh. This story, if you're an artist, it's, it just absolutely hits like a truck. It's like the author followed me for a good section of my life, documenting my journey as an artist, and yeah, it's, it's like just mad relatable. And to be honest, I may or may not have cried while watching this anime on Netflix. And I also may or may not have been drunk while watching each and every single episode. And I also may or may not have had an emotional breakdown and had a crying conversation with my cat, Miso, while I was drunk, while I watched the video. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, I may or may not have done those things. Oh yeah, by the way, Blue Period has been adapted into an anime by Netflix, and at the time of me recording this, it has 11 episodes out, so yeah, if you'd rather watch the anime instead of read the manga, there you go, art nerd. Now the reason I say go watch Blue Period if you draw is simply because I believe as an artist, watching this show will help you reflect a lot on the journey you've had so far, the journey you have ahead of you, and what it means to be an artist in general. These reflections, in my opinion, will lead to a drastic growth in yourself, not only as an artist, but as a person, and maybe would also lead to a growth in your art itself. I mean, I know it did for me. As much as I would like to go through each and every episode of Blue Period one by one and talk about all the points, themes, lessons, and plot points it brought up, I'm not. I'm gonna let you, if you decide to read or watch it, experience them for yourself. 
Bluebeard talks about things like having fun when it comes to your art. The fact that most times they're not, hard work in art comes from insecurity in one's own skill. The topic of being a disappointment to your parents and to society should you choose to become an artist. The true meaning of self-expression with art or the true meaning of accepting oneself and how that's reflected in the way the world is interpreted slash perceived by the artist or the way that acceptance of oneself is interpreted in your art and so much more. Now let me preface this real quick though. Blue period isn't action packed. It isn't some bundle of excitement you would expect from like a shonen or a Marvel movie or some dumb fun plot from something like, I don't know, rent a girlfriend. So if you're going into blue period expecting the same anime shenanigans you may or may not be used to, you're not going to find it. It just isn't that story. Don't get me wrong though, blue period still has the tropes and cliches of its genre, but nonetheless, it's still a story that truly forces or begs the viewer to self-reflect, at least in my opinion. Before I end this video, I just kind of wanted to share with you all how I grew by watching this or how I think I did. Before watching this anime, I was an insecure artist like most. But don't get me wrong, I still am, but in a different way than before. Before this anime, I compared myself to artists online who do beautiful illustrations of characters and environments or even animals and they use beautiful colors and mediums I had never even thought existed or even thought to use. And this overexposure to this great range of skill and talents led me to believe that I had to be like that. And when I would try to emulate what I had been seeing on social media, unsurprisingly, my work was far inferior to the ones I had been exposed to. And as you can imagine, this only increased my insecurity and my doubt in my skill as an artist. You see, I don't know if you guys noticed, but me, Didi Mark, as an artist, I'm a very, very hard worker. I work harder than anyone else or any other artist I know, and that's not a jab at any other artist. It's probably not even true. It's just my opinion slash perspective. And you want to know why? Do you want to know why I work so hard? It's because I, without talent, I have no choice but to work hard. And luckily, my hard work has gotten me to where I am now, and as a result, People overestimate me now. They call me great or a good artist or the goat. And that invites imposter syndrome for me because in reality, even with all this work I put in to be where I am now, it's still nothing compared to the people with talent who do it effortlessly. All it takes is for one of these people with talent to try. Even if it's just a little, it's enough for them to leave me absolutely in the dust. I tell you guys all these things because that line of thinking was not unique to just me because I'm sure someone out there thinks I myself am that talented person. You right now watching this video might think that someone else is that talented person. But essentially what I'm trying to say is we're each on our own journey and we just, we just need to be on it. We need to accept that someone out there is going to be better than us no matter who you are. I believe our goal should just be the best we can be and that's what I learned from Blue Period. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying art can't be competitive. Matter of fact, I personally believe it is. If you disagree with that, well, you know, cool story. But the point is, you can compare yourself to others, but the important thing is to not try to be another artist or copy them or, you know, get in their lane or genre. The point is for you to grow in your own lane, in your own style, in your own genre, you know, if that makes sense. This allows for a variety among artists or even in the field of art. When everyone is amazing in a very unique way, when everyone has a clear and unique voice portrayed through their artwork. Although I've said in my previous videos my goal as an artist is to be known as the best, this anime taught me that I can be the best and still have people be technically better than me, if that makes sense. And that's okay. Thank you nerds for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. If you didn't enjoy it, don't you fucking dare touch that like button or I'll come for you. <laughs> JK. Uh, but for real though, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to leave a comment because I respond to any and all comments. Till next time, it's Diddy Emotional, Diddy Deuces Art Nerds.